So hey guys, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So in tonight's video, we are going to be discussing the recent social media interaction between Snoop Doggy Dog and Ari Lennox. Snoop Dogg is a retired rapper who had major music success in the 1990s and Ari Lennox is an R&B singer with the hit song Break Me Off amongst so many others. So before we get started, I did want to encourage more black female communication about topics to one centralized platform. So I was introduced to this app called Ebony Life that is available for Androids and iPhones that is solely for black women to discuss all the things we talk about. So think about having a platform to talk about everything that is happening. Women's issues, black loves, colorism, texturism, featureism, all of the isms, okay? So I am glad to partner with Ebony Life after downloading and trying out their app because during this quarantine and the stay home order, I'm just looking for more ways to talk to you, talk to all other women, and just keep the conversation going about black women in our lives. So to me, it's really important to be aware of what it means to be a black woman in this day and age, regardless of your skin shade, and regardless of your nationality. There are things that we just have to keep talking about so it can better us as a whole and bring in a strong-headed generation that is to come. So if you're into things like this and you want to not only support Black business but also have another platform to discuss things related to the lives of us Black women, go ahead and click the link in my description box and download the app Ebony Life and just check it out. It was quick and easy and very free to make an account and I'm already enjoying it. It's actually helping me find more topics for my channel. So download Ebony Life now and join the conversation. So moving on, Ari Lennox took to her Instagram the other day to talk to her fans on Instagram live and she was just being her normal goofy self all while attempting to apply a lace front wig. Now if anybody knows Ari Lennox even a little bit we all know that she's you know the staple image of a natural black beauty. She has very beautiful rich brown skin, a head full of hair, full natural type 4 hair and is very afrocentric in her vibes and her personality. So I guess I gotta cut more lace. I gotta cut more lace. I gotta cut more lace. I'm trying to do more than grab it. Relax! Girl, you need a wig cap. Where am I supposed... Where am I supposed to get a wig cap? Where am I supposed to get a wig cap? Now, as it relates to music, I do love the ratchet shit, okay? Don't get me wrong. I love NBA Youngboy, Meg Thee Stallion. I like their music. I like things of that nature. I'm not really the biggest R&B music fan, especially this generation of R&B, but I really do like Ari's music and her presence in the industry. It's refreshing to see something different. You know, everyone likes what they like, but I also respect her hustle and her placement as a black female music artist. I'm 22 and I'm in college, so, you know, naturally just exposed to the ratchet music, so, you know, I take a liking to it, but Ari's music is just so relaxing and different. She just brings a type of soul in her sound and I can listen to her as I work on homework assignments and I think her music is beautiful. Her look is also different than most black female artists that are out today that are popular right now. So like I mentioned, I like Meg Thee Stallion's music and her movement. Granted her whole nonsense with her label, I wasn't really feeling that and how Meg went about it, but that's a different topic. But I like that I have the variety to like the ratchet and the raunchy and the real sounds of Meg Thee Stallion and then get the deep, angelic and powerful tone of Ari Lennox. I like both y'all, I just do. I don't think it's wrong to appreciate two types of black females in their artistry. So Ari's the mean is completely contradictory to the earthquake starting ass shaking and 30 inch colorful lace fronts that we see from the Meg Thee Stallions and other black female acts. Ari is all about just being herself and has been able to captivate a large audience and following without having to do some of the things the more popular black female artists have done or are doing. One of those major things is wearing her natural hair the majority of the time. As I look through her music videos, I see natural buns, I see twist outs, I see afros, I see all of that from Ari. She does a good job embracing her natural hair and standing out amongst other black female musicians. Now I will say that this probably does work really well for her being that she does do R&B and not rap but still she is still showcasing her natural looks in the majority of her videos, pictures and her appearances. Ari was on Instagram live the other day struggling to apply a lace front wig and it was entertaining to watch and get a small laugh at her wig lifting up and her just struggling. I mean you can just tell from watching her struggle that she isn't used to wearing laced wigs and probably prefers just wearing her natural hair. So Snoop Dogg's nut ass decided to comment on this and even though no one and I mean no one X him to step into the comments and discuss her. He wrote, grow your own hair. What happened to those days? Now my initial reaction and the premise of my video is going to be a bit different than ones that I've seen on YouTube from other commentators. I see a lot of people focusing on the fact that at one point Ari Lennox I guess defended Snoop Dogg when he was being dragged for a situation but I think the simple response to that is okay well fuck him. I'll never stand up for you again moving on. I think that's all he can say to that. I don't think there needs to be that much attention to that because it's just one of those instances where it's like well damn I'm just not gonna ever look out for you ever again and I'm just gonna go about my business. I try to be on your side and I look stupid but oh well let me move on. 
simple. I think the bigger and more prominent issue is the audacity of Snoop Dogg and other black men to comment on what a black woman does with her head when they themselves contribute to why a black woman would even put on a wig in the first place. Also, I wanted to speak on Snoop and other black men's ignorance to black hair and how much it just irks me when men try to paint all black women as one type. So I've broken my video down into three main talking points, so let's get right into this video. So point number one is policing black women has got to stop. It is utterly idiotic and almost suspect that a grown, established, married man would be this concerned about what another woman has to do to her head. This goes for all women, not just black women. Like, I'm starting to think that men who get off, make their living, and find it okay to be disinvested in the lives of women who they claim not to like or at least show actions that coincide with them not fucking with a certain type of women are either DL or have a mental concern. Like, all jokes aside, you can't tell me that if I was a male YouTuber and all I did was make videos about women and their hair, women and the men that they date, women and their choices that they made, that I'm not some type of narc, some type of nut, or some type of DL man. It just doesn't make sense to me. Why is it that most men lack that barrier to know when to just stay out of a woman's business? I rarely see women of status or just women in general dictate anything about a man's physical appearance. Now, it is fair and natural for both men and women to be judgmental of others' appearance, but to police or dictate or even suggest a hairstyle or anything, especially when not axed, is a reach to me. Furthermore, I feel like Snoop has issues with not being trending. It's funny how before Instagram became really huge, celebrities were just seen as a mystery. No one knew what they did on a day-to-day -day basis and people were better off not knowing the lives and thoughts of a celebrity. But now it's almost like most of them can't stand not being trending. Snoop, weren't you just fake crying on Jada Pinkett Smith's red table talk for overstepping your boundaries towards another black woman? And now here we are about a month and some change later and again, you're poking your beak into something that really should not concern you. It's not even a mind your business type of ordeal it's more or less why does any black woman wearing a wig infuriate so many black men when a lot of them are the ones who call natural black hair nappy ugly ghetto and the whole nine yards please explain to me what do you want a black woman to do when we cannot win for losing this isn't even me playing the victim card it's just a genuine question i know a lot of black men are going to comment that they do like natural hair but for real do you really think it makes sense to comment on what a woman does to her head when one she didn't ask you two you were not her man and three you you are the very one who has a history of down talking natural black hairstyles so with all of that what do you expect many black women to do then many of them will suggest that we grow our own hair as if that isn't one of the positive side effects that comes with wearing a wig or a weave now i don't really want to dive too much into the whole wig wearing weave wearing debate because i'm firm on wear that wig or weave protect your natural hair and own your style both wigged up and both natural because if it isn't damaging you internally and externally then it just isn't that serious but that's my own personal opinion. I personally believe that any man that gets a rise out of publicly commenting on things concerning a woman should be looked at with a side eye. Not only that, but Snoop, where is this energy for your own daughter who wears wigs and weaves on the regular? Why can't this be directed towards her if you really do feel this way? Not saying she is wrong for wearing extensions because she is not, but serious question. How can you feel okay and proud as a grown man by intentionally minding a woman's business and furthermore challenging the choices of another woman and not your own daughter who engages in whatever activity it is that you do not like make it make sense i'm just confused policing dictating and even commenting on an opinion on what a black woman does to her head as a man is really ass backwards there are just lines that do not need to be crossed it's not even like he stated an opinion and i would have been fine with that but he offered a suggestion that's the part that annoyed me because it was very unwarranted i suggest you stop cheating on your wife okay i suggest that you stop having external sexual marital affairs with women who wear wigs and weaves and need to quote unquote grow their hair out i suggest that you stay in your place unless the same outrage you got a month ago is going to keep happening to the point where eventually people will get tired of your shit okay i feel like a lot of older celebrities have been damaging their reputations year after year after year by just doing the most policing black women in any format has got to stop now point number two is the double standard of race sir you are cheating on your wife with thought ass selena powell who isn't even black meanwhile you're opening your mouth to speak on black women and their hair nigga get the fuck out of here you're cheating on your black wife with a non-black thought and you're speaking on what someone is doing with their hair please explain to me how that makes sense i understand that double standards are double standards but i'm irritated at the double standard that relates to race so it's wrong for a black woman to use wigs and weaves but it's not wrong for a non-black woman to wear quote-unquote extensions and don't get me wrong snoop never said that it was wrong for black women to wear wigs or weaves even though that can be implied by his statement but still why is there this racial double standard against black women who want to wear weave why do we get called self-haters why do we get 40 plus year old men getting on their youtube live trying to pick apart what a 20 something year old black woman chooses to do with
with their head. And that's all to y'all shade right there. Why can't y'all have the same energy with the white and non-black women all over the world that are doing the same thing? And yes, maybe white women don't do it as much as black women do, but still, where is the energy? You cannot exempt a white girl from receiving ridicule for wearing any form of hair extensions or something opposed to their natural hair and then give black women all the hate and backlash. Where was a lot of y'all at when Bad Baby, aka Danielle Bergoli, was wearing box braids? Why wasn't Kylie Jenner shamed for wearing that blue wig that she used to rock years ago and then she got so much unnecessary credit for starting a trend when people have been wearing colored wigs since forever. Just explain to me why just because a white woman wears weave and calls it extensions, that's fine. But if a black woman does the same thing, she hates herself because y'all say it's unnatural, right? Meanwhile, I keep seeing all of these Beijing hairlines from black men that are super dark and looks way too perfect. I mean, some of y'all's hairlines are so fake and so crisp. I may need to finally and actually use the Pythagorean theorem that I learned in high school to measure up that 90 degree perfect angle that I'm seeing all over the place from black men. And I'm not even trying to be funny, but I'm just being serious. And then some of them have the nerve to speak. Like if adding some enhancement to your haircut or your hairline makes you feel good, I see no reason to be mad at black women for wearing a wig regardless of its texture. Some people always say well why don't you wear one that is your texture but to me does it matter protecting the natural state of your natural hair is the purpose and that's all that matters whether i wear a straight wig or a kinky curly 4b wig the purpose of protection care versatility and styling is still being achieved it doesn't matter the texture especially when black hair is so versatile we can do any style of hair okay we can do any style of texture it may not be as silky as a white woman's hair can get but if a white woman with naturally curly hair can go into a salon and get their hair pressed because science supports that hair can do that why can't i get my hair pressed without starting problems and the thing that kills me the most is that hair is such an external thing it really should not be this big of a conversation the wig comes off at night okay the wig does not cause damage to your real hair if you don't let it the essence of a wig no matter the texture has helped many women both black white or whatever to sustain healthy hair so please miss me with the racial double standard it's no longer a valid argument to me now my third and final point is Ari Lennox has beautiful natural hair. This right here is the killer. Because had Mr. Snoop D-O-double-G done his research, he would have learned that Ari Lennox does wear her natural hair and she doesn't even wear wigs at all for real and does grow her own natural hair. That unnecessary suggestion that you made, sir, we already did that, okay? Her length, her growth, and her healthy hair already exists, okay? This is why you shut up and mind your business because wig or no wig, her hair is long, strong, and popping. And y'all wanna know what's sad? Even with her growing out her hair and embracing it like so many anti-wig slash anti-weave people suggest, it's still not enough. Her hair was not being praised and celebrated until she decided to wear a wig one time on her Instagram Live. So shout out to the hypocrites who only make noise when people do something that they don't like, even though they are silent as church mice when some someone is embracing their naturally grown hair the majority of the time. It just goes to show that many black men, not all, but many of them really just talk to hear themselves talk when it comes to these types of topics. Do you know how many women who wear wigs and weaves have beautiful, long, black, natural hair? But people hate to admit that, okay? That's the shit that nobody wants to actually admit. There is this stigma that people think black women who use hair extensions are bald, ugly, hate themselves, and can't grow their hair, when that's literally the smallest percentage of people who wear extensions. My hair is naturally thick, it's natural, it's healthy, and it's growing, and that's with the help of wigs and weaves. How can you be so pro-natural and pro-embracing natural hair when the wigs and weaves help people do that, okay? No woman, white or black, owes any man, white or black, shit. I don't have to show you my natural hair, nor do I have to conform to wearing wigs or weaves just because you think it's better than the hair that actually grows out of my head. I think all hair is beautiful, so I wear all types of hair, and it is what it is. Ari has long natural hair, and that's the gag. The gag is her hair is growing, the gag is her hair is natural, and the gag is it's stupid to speak on what you don't know when you think you're doing something smart when all reality you look dumb. So that is it for this video. What were your thoughts on this situation? I see a lot of YouTubers talking about it, but I just want to talk solely on the fact that policing black women and making these allegations sound stupid when you don't know what you're talking about, let alone her hair is natural, which is the part that's killing me. Like her hair is grown. Her hair does look nice. So what are your thoughts and opinions on this situation? Don't forget to leave a comment down below on my commentary. Also, don't forget to download Ebony Life. That is the app that I am promoting. And I really do like it, you guys, in all honesty. Please follow me on all my social media networks and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! I mean, I can't agree with that. Cause cause girls fuck off you. That's what I see. Girls don't like, fuck off shit. You feel me? Like, just, oh, he look good. Like, 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 that's yeah, not they do. That's yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, that's what they did. Sometimes, girl cheat on the nigga.
It's because she liked it. It's they either used to talk or she been thinking about talking to him. It's a reason. Bro. A nigga will fuck a girl just to say like I just fucked two girls in one day. Like niggas are really fucking just girls to, just to, say just to that. mark it off the bucket list. I know niggas that like fuck three girls in one day.